Welcome back to The Real Deal on MPD with Myra. Narcissistic projection by individuals with narcissistic personality disorder is a defense mechanism. This is when they put their thoughts, their feelings, their motivations onto you, another person. So this is for them to avoid taking responsibility for their own actions, and then they can act superior over you. Narcissistic projection can happen in any type of relationship, whether it is platonic, romantic, or a family type relationship. It can happen frequently, and it does cause harm to the victim. It can be considered as narcissistic abuse. Look, projection can take many forms, uh, and the impact on mental and emotional well-being of the recipient can be significant. Um, it can have a significant impact on these relationships, both personal and professional. It can lead to a cycle of blame and manipulation. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at narcissistic projection and ways to navigate and to address this behavior. Look, there are many different ways uh, that people who have strong narcissistic tendencies, uh, how they deny, how they project, how they blame, how they confuse, and how they hurt other people. So number one, they will say that you did things that you didn't say. <laughs> they will also say that you're exhibiting negative behaviors that they exhibit on a daily basis. For example, they may say you're cheating on them when in fact they are cheating on you. That's all they do is cheat, okay? But they say you're doing it because they don't want to look like the bad guy. So they might say that you're selfish because you won't give in to their demand. Although they're the ones who constantly are making up excuses, making, uh, you know, making and breaking promises, and they're unreliable. So look, in their eyes, they feel that they're entitled to all of your resources, your time, your money, your energy. Mm -hmm. But they feel you're a problem when you won't, can't, or don't give them what they want. So then number two, they take a preemptive strike. Yeah, so they wanna get it out there before you do. So when they start to feel threatened, they will call you things that they themselves are afraid that others will see them as. So they will stalk you, they will slander you, they will discredit you, they will sabotage and try to destroy you, they will start a smear campaign in an attempt to assassinate your character. In their mind, you've become their enemy. Mm -hmm. Somehow you're the enemy if they're doing those things to you. Yeah, so look, they'll do all these things just because they think they think you're trying to hurt them. Uh-huh, so they're gonna accuse you of the very things that they are doing themselves. So look, I've been called a prostitute, a drug dealer, a drug addict, a bad parent, lazy devil worshiper, gay, and I, I don't know anything about any of those things. I've never dealt in any of those things before, but you gotta look at the person who's accusing. Mm -hmm. Number two, play the victim. Yeah, so their strategy is to play the victim. Instead of working through the issue with you or their internal issue, they don't have any problem dragging you into it by lying and by painting you as a perpetrator uh, and themselves as a victim. Yeah, you done done that to them. You done some bad things to these narcissists. So look, that's their preemptive strike. They want to provoke a reaction because uh, they want to prove that you are the one who has the problem. So for example, they may destroy your property. Yeah, they may slander you, turn people against you, threaten to physically attack you or physically attack you. And then when you respond, mm -hmm, they can say you're the aggressor because you're hurting them or that you're being unreasonable. You're being wild and crazy and you have unacceptable behavior. Look, it's calculated. These folks are calculated. They want to accuse you of the things that they have done themselves or they are currently doing. Now, isn't that something? I mean, it's, it's interesting. Mm -hmm, things that they do themselves, they're judging you for doing when you have it. Interesting. So look, here's some examples of uh, narcissistic projection. They'll criticize you for your appearance. Now look, they, they don't need to be criticizing anybody. They got to look in the mirror. They got to look, they've had surgery. Yeah, mm -hmm. they have low self-esteem. They've had all kinds of surgery if they want to turn around and criticize you for your appearance. This type of criticism in a relationship is extremely harmful. Yeah, because it impairs the relationship, but it also, you know, tries to uh, lower your self-confidence, your self-esteem. Yeah, they're the ones with the issue. They claim that you are narcissistic. Yeah, they lack awareness. They don't have any self-awareness. They don't self-reflect. And they have a tendency to project. So these narcissists don't even know that they're narcissists. So instead, they will project their traits onto you. They will accuse you of being a narcissist, which is uh, frustrating and very oddly confusing. Number three, they'll say you're a bad parent. Look, CPS needs to be over there right now, taking some kids out right now. But they have the nerve to turn what they're doing right around on you. Project their own shortcomings as a parent onto you. Yeah, see, they feel ashamed mm -hmm, of their own lack of parenting uh, skills and techniques, and they won't ever admit it. So what they'll do is blame you mm -hmm, to attempt to deal with their own inner conflict. They're bringing it out, but they're putting it on you. Number four, they claim that you are dishonest. Now look, these narcissists are the most dishonest people in the world, but they will claim that you are dishonest. They may claim that you're cheating, that you're engaging in fraudulent or illegal behavior, hiding money from them. While these accusations may be caused by a number of different reasons, most commonly it's gonna be projection. So in the workplace, you know, 
coworkers uh, may put allegations against you. And that's to distract from their own misbehaviors at work. So they want to point the finger at somebody else to keep the attention off themselves. Number five, they say that you hate them. Yeah, well, they hate themselves. They have low self-esteem. They feel poorly about themselves, but they want to claim that you feel that way about them. And so that's narcissistic projection. The, the same thing they do is they hate you. They don't know why they hate you, but it's because they actually hate themselves and they're projecting the hate they have for themselves onto you. They can't even tell you or tell other people why they hate you so much. Number six, they'll make fun of your sexuality. Yeah, so they're uncomfortable with their own sexuality. You know, they're questioning what's going on. Do they like men? Do they like women? Do they, what, what, what is it? But see, they'll put that on you. So what they'll do is start pointing the finger at you and say, oh, so-and-so's acting gay. So-and-so's on the DL. So-and-so this, so-and-so that. Is because they're uncomfortable with their own situation. Mm -hmm. They're struggling. They're trying to figure themselves out. So look, it's essential to adopt some of the following strategies in dealing with narcissistic projection. You gotta recognize the behavior. Uh, address the issue. You gotta address the issue. All right. These folks, you know, have these tactics, and so you need to guard yourself against their manipulative strategies. You gotta maintain composure because they're waiting. They're jumping at the minute to say that you did something wrong to them. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be crucial for you to stay calm and to stay composed because they want emotional reaction because it gives them power over you. And they can say, look, I told you so, so-and-so's crazy. So they're trying to do a little reactive abuse on you to prove a point. You wanna set clear boundaries. They hate boundaries. Uh, so you need them. Clearly communicate your expectations, tell them what you will and will not accept. Be firm with these people, uh, enforce your boundaries. Uh, because they're going to test your limits. They want to manipulate the situation to their advantage, and they will do it by any means necessary. Avoid engaging in their drama. Like I said, these folks like attention. They want the attention on them, and they want to cause chaos, so they want to bring you in. Don't participate in their game. Stay focused. Maintain professional and objective. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Keep to the facts. Yeah, keep to the facts. Don't get caught up in their manipulative tactics, because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to bring you into that. If you're at work, document and communicate. Yeah, document these incidents and the conversations that occur. Keep a record. Mm -hmm. You may need to get your supervisor or HR involved if it's happening at work. And if it's happening at home, you need to document that too because you might need to get the law involved. Uh-huh, the legal system. There's some stuff that may come up where you got to deal with them, okay? Especially when they're trying to assassinate your character. Number six, seek support. There are people who have been through some of the things that you are experiencing. Uh, who can provide guidance, who can provide advice, who can sh you can share your experiences with, who have dealt with similar personalities or situations, who can help validate your feelings and give you fresh perspectives on how to handle the situation. Self-care is important. You gotta prioritize self-care. Stop worrying about these narcissists. It's gonna be crucial for you to detach from these narcissists and set time aside for yourself, okay? Because you have been, been subjected to narcissistic abuse. This can leave a huge impact on you both emotionally physically and take a toll on your mental health. So you gotta focus on fulfilling your own needs, practicing emotional self-care, ensuring that you can recover from dealing with this narcissist. Engage in activities that bring you joy, practice stress-reducing techniques such as mindfulness or exercise, and seek professional support if needed. Never fear seeking the help that you need. Don't buy into or feed into their manipulation. Stay calm, stay collected when dealing with these narcissists. It's gonna be important. It may not um, stop the projection in its tracks, but it can prevent the situation from getting worse. You can't fight back with the same behavior, you know, because it'll trigger narcissistic rage and increasing their behavior and stuff, and then they'll do that reactive abuse. So look at so-and-so, so-and-so's doing this and that. But you gotta know when to walk away and leave this old toxic relationship and help protect yourself from future narcissistic projection and abuse. Uh, and if you're thinking about breaking up with a narcissist, you need to learn more about what they do at the end of a relationship so you can prepare for the backlash because there will be, whether you walk away or they walk away. They are going to get you, okay? That's what they do, revenge. Consider therapy. Depending on the nature of your relationship, you might want to get therapy to deal with the effects of narcissistic projection and abuse because it is abuse. They can help you how you know learn how to respond to this behavior in healthy and productive ways. They can guide you in you know setting boundaries, improving your self-esteem, developing coping skills. Find the right therapist for you. There are many online options uh, that can save time. You don't have to go anywhere. You can do it right from your computer at home. Be sure to stay true to yourself. Understand that these lies that they're out there telling, you know, the things they're telling, they're actually telling on themselves, okay? That they're not true, they're false, okay? And if people believe them, then they weren't your friends anyway, okay? And some, 
sometimes it takes a little while for the truth to get out, but eventually it usually does. These are the people with the issue. So being a target of narcissistic projection is a clear indication that these people don't value you or respect you. They will never support your growth. They don't care. They could give it down. So look, you got to recognize these red flags in a relationship, especially one with a narcissist. You've got to protect yourself from future abuse and you need to take the steps towards bettering your own well-being. That's all that matters is your own well-being. So in conclusion, understanding the concept of narcissistic projection can help us navigate these toxic relationships and cultivate healthier connections for the future. We want to create a harmonious, fulfilling lives for ourselves and we have to walk away at times to do that. So if you found today's information helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment below to join our community and to continue the discussion for personal growth and emotional well-being. Together, we can support each other in evolving into the best versions of ourselves.